And so the pressure is on to get the Bank of Ghana governor, Dr. Ernest Anderson, to resign and resign in earnest. That September 5 protest by the minority in parliament appears to be all but confirmed after more than an hour of meeting with the police hierarchy at the Accra Regional Police Command. According to the deputy minority leader of the NDC, Ama Kofibua, they have agreed with the original route as captured in the letter submitted to the police command. The police service uh, made some proposals to us and we also insisted on our proposals in terms of the route we have. We concluded the meeting that we will go through the route that we have proposed. And so everything is set for our protest, which will be joined by thousands of Ghanaians. The NDC MPs had in a letter dated August 21 stated their desire to march from the frontage of Parliament House through the Osu Cemetery traffic light to the Ministry of Finance, to the High Court Complex, Kimbu, Makola, Rollins Park, Oprah Square, and then end up at the Bank of Ghana. For Boku Central MP, Mahama Yarega, the NDC minority in Parliament will ensure Dr. Anderson receives the petition demanding his resignation. We want the governor to, to be the one to receive our uh, petition. And that is why we must uh, march to the uh, central bank building itself so that he can come down and then uh, receive the petition himself. And we insisted on that uh, position. So I believe that the police will convey our demands to him. And I believe that he would make himself available to uh, receive our petition. Dr. Anes Addison is coming under pressure to resign after the central bank posted 60 billion cities in losses and the ongoing construction of a new head office amidst the country's current economic challenge. Eric Mawinaigbeta. TV3 News, Accra Regional Police Command. All right. All right.